Hey everyone, I'm um, making another video and this time I'm showing Dolphin Blue for the uh, Thomas Wave. And um, I don't know if anyone knows much about this game because I didn't know shit about it until, well not that long ago, but I've been tracking it down and finally got a hold of a copy and um, yeah, it plays a lot like a, like a sort of a Metal Slug style like run and gun game and plays similar to that Metal Slug, Cyberlip, all that old sort of shit. But um, it's got nice, like the graphics, it's got full 3D graphics with nice 2D sprites and everything and uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like, I'll a little, little bit of gameplay because i got Steph holding the camera so I've got two free hands finally. Yeah, I've only just started playing this so I'm not very good yet. So. This is the only t a Thomas Wave game we've got so far that actually only requires three buttons, which is, um, it's good because you don't have to worry about remembering a million things, but it's a pain in the ass at the same time because it's nice to have, like, multiple different things to do. But it works well for what the game is. Yeah, you see, you got your regular attack and you got the same counter up the top with your machine gun and everything, like Metal Slug's got. And You've got your special attack, which with the, on your dolphin, it just throws your dolphin into things. And I missed my power up. One thing that's bad about this game though is it's got a ton of slowdown when there's any sort of explosions or anything like that. It really slows down, as you can probably see in the video, like that. It's crazy. That's the only letdown I've found about it so far, but... As far as... When looking for the Atomic Wave games, ones that aren't all fighters, because I've got so many fighting games, and it's nice to have a bit of a change. But... Yeah, I'll see how... I can get through this without dying anyway. And I'm sure this game would look brilliant on a 31kHz VGA screen, but sadly I don't have a Tri-Res in my Astro. So I'm running it in standard old 15kHz. And underwater, your dolphin just basically flies around and attacks things when you use your special. But the only thing I'm bad if I really found about this is that it's got really repetitive stages. Like you've got the dolphin ones, you've got the underwater ones, and you've got the on land bits. And since the whole game is based with water around it, it gets repetitive really quickly. But that's just a little bit of gameplay of um, Dolphin Blue, and if you've got an Atomic Wave and you're out looking for a few games, uh, I know this one gets some like mixed reviews, but I definitely recommend giving it a go. It's definitely not as good as Metal Slug 6, but at the same time, if you take it for what it is, it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video.